and thank you for joining me today. We're going to take a look at the MySite automated software that I was telling you about, uh, most likely if you came to this video. Uh, so whether you're a past client, referral, or somebody who just met me on the internet, I set all of my folks up on this software. It's a great tool. It's built right into our local MLS, so it's what the realtors use as far as data. We'll have all the same data that the realtors have. It's going to tell you literally the minute a home hits the market that matches your criteria, uh, as opposed to Zillow, where it takes a little time for it to get there, and then, you know, most of the homes you find on Zillow are already under contract when you call on them. That's because Zillow doesn't have the ability to say under contract or taking backup offers. Uh, they only have for sale and closed, and it's usually four to five weeks from the time you go under contract under contract until you close and so Zillow will continue to market those homes as for sale until they actually close. So this is going to give you up to the minute information. If it goes under contract you'll know it. If there's a price reduction you'll know it. If there's a uh, back on market after the contract fell apart you'll know it. You'll get an email notifying you here's a uh, a new match to your my site criteria and it's going to upload it to a portal where you have a username and password you can log in and see all the details that you can see on zillow and more just a great tool it's really the only way to go in our market today and so uh without further ado let's take a look at it and i'll kind of show you around a little bit all right uh, so coming down here when you log into my site you're going to have a few tabs up here the first one is inbox and then favorites and maybes and trash. So everything comes into your inbox. That's the tab that we're on right now. If you leave it in there, it's gonna go away after 30 days. If you save it to favorites, maybes, or trash, it will stay in those tabs indefinitely. So it'll always be there for you. Um, if you click on the particular property, you're gonna be able to see more information and so forth about the home. If you click on favorites, it's going to move it over into the favorites tab and there it is right there. So uh, that's how it, the homes maneuver around in there. You can add notes in here like this home, but next to tracks and save a note on there. So it'll help you to keep tabs of what is happening with that property and anything that you noticed about it that is interesting to you that you can save. If you come into a particular property, uh, you got the photos up here. You have uh, ability to do the larger photos by clicking on that tab and kind of cruise around in there. You also have a map area. Um, you can change this to aerial view right here and zoom in a little bit, but you can actually do even better by clicking on this Google Maps and then selecting the aerial view. And you can really zoom in on the property and see where it is and get really close there. So sometimes you might want to see, oh, it's next to a green belt or uh, railroad tracks, you know, positives and negatives based on that. There's also a place here if the listing agent has uploaded a video tour. Click on that, uh, just like you could on Zillow. And then uh, I'm gonna come over to another property here just to pop into another one. And this one has a little bit more information about room sizes that the listing agent has uploaded. So you can see all the room sizes, the square footage, um, the taxes, the school districts, additional features. So this is where you'll see your inclusions, you know, what utility, or I'm sorry, appliances are they included. If there's any exclusions, they'd be mentioned here. You'll also see the financing. So if you have to use a FHA loan or a VA loan, you'll be able to see if that is available on this particular property. Over here on the right hand side, again, this one has a virtual tour, but I wanted to show you these listing documents. This is another thing that you will not get on Zillow. Uh, because this is built right into our local MLS, you have all of the uploaded disclosures from the seller and the listing agent that are available. Uh, and the most important one here is this seller's property disclosure. This is the document uh, where the seller has disclosed what he knows is wrong with the home or was wrong in the past with the home. And so he's letting you know that. So if you click on that, you can pull this up here and scroll through it. And it's to the seller's current actual knowledge. So on this one, for instance, uh, with the roof, did we ever have any existing issues with damage? And he's saying yes, but it was replaced uh, by hail in 2015. So lots of information in here about the structural conditions, roof, appliances, electrical, mechanical, ventilation, 
and on and on. Water, it's nine pages, uh, 10 pages now actually. Uh, so lots of information in there that you can take a look at in advance if you're interested in what the seller has disclosed that he knows is wrong with the property. So really this, this is a, a, a good overview here. I don't think I missed anything. Oh, one thing you'll notice here, taking backup offers. Let me come back to the main screen here. Uh, this one says for sale, for sale, for sale. And this one says taking backup offers. So uh, when they first hit your MySite, they're going to be for sale. If it goes under contract tomorrow and you come back in here and you look at this particular property, it's in your favorites and it says taking backup offers, that means it went under contract. So again, uh, great tool. You can tell immediately once it's gone under contract. And, uh, and so, yeah. So I think I covered everything on that. Like I said, we set all of our folks up on this. This is really the only way to go when we're actually shopping. So uh, what I do for my folks is I meet with them for an upfront consultation. And what we'll do is uh, the first half of that consultation is really understanding you and your needs and what you're looking for in a home. We'll ask you about all the characteristics of the home that you're looking for. Uh, we'll also talk about your budget and uh, we'll run some numbers on that. Make sure that we keep your purchase price under a certain monthly payment that you're comfortable with, whatever that is, based on your down payment and the interest rate of the day. Uh, we'll talk about your timing, what's important to you in the process. All of that helps me to understand your needs and get you set up with this software. Um, second part of that is we'll walk you through a little buyer's, uh, I'm sorry, PowerPoint presentation. Uh, explains the current market conditions in, in our area. Um, the standard Colorado buy-sell agreement between buyers and sellers, what contingencies are available to you, how we go about understanding market value before we write an offer, how do we negotiate, and so forth. So I take all of my folks through that consultation, uh, and it just lays a great foundation, and there's no cost or obligation to you. So if you'd like to get together, reach out to me. My contact information is uh, attached to this video in some form or another or a link down below it, depending on how you came to me. Love to visit with you, love to help out and set you up with this MySite software and point you in the right direction and uh, get your home shopping going. Of course, no cost or obligation for any of that. Uh, getting this set up, it's free, it's a gift. I just wanna be of help to you if I can and uh, point you in the right direction. All right, that's it and uh, talk to you soon and let me know if I can be of help in any way with your real estate.